Hello everyone, this is the Royal Insider Channel. Every day I will tell you three interesting stories about the royal family. So don't miss it and watch the whole video. The first story I want to tell you about is Prince William and Princess Catherine, one of the most loved royal couples in the world. They have three beautiful children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. But could this couple have another baby in the future? In recent years, Princess Catherine has expressed her interest in newborns and children that she met in royal activities. She also admitted that she felt broody and clucky when she saw cute babies. She even joked that her husband, Prince William, was worried that she would want another one. One of the most notable confessions of Princess Catherine was in February 2022, when she visited the Copenhagen Children's Museum in Denmark. There, she chatted with parents and their children, and witnessed their lovely moments. She also held an 11-month-old girl named Clara, and kept smiling as she looked into the baby's eyes. When asked about her feelings, Princess Catherine replied, I really feel broody. I love children. I always want to have more children. But William doesn't. He worries about me working with children under one year old because I will go home and want another one. She also joked that he would not allow her to hold any more babies. Princess Catherine also whispered to other babies in her visits. In May 2022, when she visited a school in Glasgow, Scotland, she was attracted by a cute baby crawling in front of her. She bent down and whispered to the baby, he's so lovely. Can he be friends with my Louis? Then, Prince William teased, can you get my wife out of here before she gets clucky? And back in February 2019, on a trip to Northern Ireland, Princess Catherine also confessed that she felt uncomfortable when she met a five-month-old baby named James on a walk in Ballymena. She told James's father, he's gorgeous. It makes me feel broody. When asked about the possibility of having a fourth baby, she laughed and said, I think William might be a little worried. While Princess Catherine seems to want another baby, Prince William seems not too enthusiastic about the idea. He has expressed his concern about raising four children, and has also said that he had enough. He also made jokes with his wife when she showed her liking for other babies. One of the most memorable jokes of Prince William was in 2022, when the couple visited Lancashire, England. Here, Princess Catherine was captivated by a three-and-a-half-month-old girl named Anastasia, and held her in her arms. Then, Prince William looked at his wife and said, don't give her any ideas. He also told Kate, you can't take her with you. Oh, sorry, everyone's looking now. Do you want to come in as well? Yeah, go on as well. Thank you so much. You take care. Prince William and Princess Catherine became parents for the first time in July 2013, when they welcomed Prince George at the Lindo Wing of St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington, London. The couple's daughter, Princess Charlotte, also came to the hospital two years later, followed by their second son, Prince Louis, in April 2018. The royal couple shared lovely moments of their family with the public, and also showed the bond and love between the members. They also participated in many charitable and social activities, especially those related to children and education. One of the biggest focuses of Princess Catherine is the early years of children and their impact on later life. She launched the Royal Foundation Center for Early Childhood in June 2021 and in January 2023, she announced a new awareness-raising campaign, Shaping Us, which emphasizes the importance of the first five years of children's lives. With the signs showing the cluckiness of Princess Catherine and the teasing of his wife by Prince William, many royal fans are looking forward to a happy news from this couple. Could they have a fourth baby in 2024? Let's wait and see. 
Princess Catherine showed her care and enthusiasm for the baby banks when she participated in a special event at Sebi's Corner, a baby bank in Barnet, on Friday. She helped decorate the Christmas cave for needy families and heard about the important work that baby banks do across the UK. Princess Catherine launched an initiative from the Royal Nursery Centre to encourage the community to donate funds, products and favourite items or volunteer to support local baby banks throughout December. The initiative aims to raise awareness and honour the work of baby banks, as well as create conditions for families with young children before Christmas. Princess Catherine chatted with members of the newly established Baby Bank Alliance, a collaborative organization between baby banks nationwide. She expressed her admiration and gratitude to them for providing essential items for families, including clothes, diapers, personal hygiene items and equipment for children. She also talked about the importance of our early experiences, a topic she explored in her Shaping Us campaign. Princess Catherine also did not hesitate to participate in fun and meaningful activities at Sebi's Corner. She helped the group decorate a special Christmas space for families, including a Christmas tree, a toy collection and a snowfall painting. She also joined with the champion of Shaping You, Giovanna Fletcher, to complete the final stages of Sebi's Christmas Cave. This is a very important place where parents who are struggling at this time of year can come and choose toys for their children. Princess Catherine looked extremely elegant and warm in her dark brown outfit. She wore a turtleneck and matching velvet skirt, paired with a brown belt that hugged her waist. She also slipped her feet into a pair of elegant black suede boots. For her hair, she left her chestnut hair with curly curls inspired by the classic blow-dry. Princess Catherine impressed with her appearance at Sebi's Corner. She showed her care and enthusiasm for the baby banks, a very important cause for her heart. She also brought joy and hope to needy families before Christmas. She launched an initiative from the Royal Nursery Center to support baby banks and their communities. I really admire your love for children around the world. I hope you will always be happy, happy, and full of energy. If you like the video, Please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Goodbye and see you again.